78 year old eyebrows. <laughs> Hi friends, <laughs> what's been going on this week? Stay tuned to find out. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. If you're wondering what this is, it's the steering wheel in my RV. Well, this week I uh, had some problems, had to fix them. If you're going to be an RV owner, I guess even if you're going to be a homeowner like we are in Mexico, you got to learn how to fix stuff. Well, this week the window in my Jeep started making a horrible racket like I was going to tear up the door. So I ordered a part after I went on to YouTube. Isn't YouTube great? I'm not talking about my channel. I'm talking about going on YouTube and finding out how to do something. It's a wonderful resource. Anyway, I figured out how to take my door apart, the driver's door on my Jeep, and fix the window. Uh... Of course, I set up my tripod and my camera while I was doing it. I've edited it a lot so you don't have to watch the two-day process. <laughs> it was quite a job. Uh, what else going on? Oh, uh, I caught something at the top of the largest uh, live oak tree in the county. That was kind of fun. Um, gave Lynn some fly swatting lessons. Um... I think you'll find that entertaining. Good morning. Spent your, uh, most of yesterday working on this door. It's all put back together there now, but it's quite the process. This piece here was broken in the back. And, uh, well, like I said, that's trash. It was a lot of work. And, uh, it got dark, so I quit. But I gotta put this trim piece back in there. Hangs in there like that. My window stopped working. And this is the solution, uh, a $90 part, $81 plus tax and shipping. That's what's going on today. One more little rubber plug to put in. Checking the door locks. Success. All working fine. Look, there's a squirrel going into that cactus. There's a squirrel in the cactus. He's going to run when I go over there. I know you're in there. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well, now where are you going to go? Woo! <laughs> 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 no squirrels nor human legs were harmed in the making of this video. We got a new bird at the bird feeder camera that we hadn't seen before. It's a bridled titmouse. I just want to know how they came up with that name. 
The Cardinal has made a real pig of himself this week, which is okay. Oh, we have another bird feeder camera coming. It's a hummingbird feeder camera. Maybe we'll focus them at each other and we'll have a fiesta of fine feathered friends freely frolicking. Finally. So, another problem. I lost all of the 12 volt power in my RV. Took me a while to figure it out, but I did, and I figured out how to fix it. Hi, friends. It's always something. I have a new switch to put in. It's the main on-off switch for the house part of the RV. So why are we doing this? Let me tell you. This is the display that tells me what things are in my Monaco coach. It's a little more complicated down here. So what's going on is that there are two battery cutoff switches. This is one of them. That's for the engine vehicle part of the coach. And the one that's missing was just like it. And that's for the house part of the coach. Now I have four 250 amp hour full river AGM batteries, and they're still a part of my system. But I also up in the bedroom have 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. And those are hooked coming down right here. This over here is a 300 amp fuse for my inverter. I have a 3000 watt Xantrex inverter. So the lithium batteries up there are capable of delivering 400 amp hours of power. And these wires are quite capable of carrying that. But that switch, like this one, was only rated for 250 amp hours. And we're trying out a portable air conditioner and that switch melted because it wasn't rated to carry that much current. And that's why we have a new switch rated to carry 300 amps of current. Now, why wouldn't I have a 400 amp switch? Well, first of all, I couldn't find one. Secondly, that's the 300 uh, amp fuse for the inverter. There is no way I can use 400 amps of power, 12 volt power. It just, it's not possible. Only the inverter can take that much energy to distribute it to 110 volt things. So, I think that this switch is going to be fine. And this one being a 12 volt switch for the vehicle part of the car, it doesn't need to. There's no way you're using 200 amps of um, electrical power uh, in that system. We're gonna put the new switch right there and we'll be good to go. All done. I couldn't get the big wires bent around to make it straight up and down, the new switch. And I'm a Libra, that's kind of messing with me, but it'll work just fine. This may be the largest live oak in the county. It's a beautiful tree, but I'm sitting in my motorhome the other day and I saw something moving up in the top of the tree. So I dug out my Panasonic video camera with the 50 power zoom Oh, it's just a squirrel grabbing a few sun rays from the highest point on the ranch. Or maybe he's trying to figure out what that sound is. It's a U.S. Border Patrol drone. Do you hear it? Okay, I've put this off long enough. Fly swatting lessons. What are you doing? I'm killing flies.
I doubt well, that. I seriously doubt you're killing I, I, flies. I, 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 <laughs> you, you're, you're terrible at killing flies. Um, you never kill a fly. You only just like scare them. Yeah. Maybe I should give you a fly swatter lesson. What do you Are think? You kidding? It's no lesson. It's just no. Nope. Actually, there's a couple of things you need to know. Well, how come fifty years later you're finally gonna tell me how to run a fly swatter? Because I need some video content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 going to put my camera over here on the tripod and I'm going to come give you a lesson. Okay? Okay. It's all right even though you're in your pajamas. Well, I'd rather be dressed. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I'll be right there. Okay, so give me the fly swatter. Now, first of all, I wanna make it clear that this is not a paid sponsorship. They didn't send me this fly swatter for free. I actually paid $1.89 for this fly swatter at Walmart of my own hard-earned money. You paid $1.89 for that? Oh, I was just making that part up. <laughs> I don't remember how much I paid for it. We've had this fly swatter for a long time. Anyway, so here, hold the fly swatter. Now, this do you see my how, left hand. Well, I'm showing you oh. something. So, see how this kind of goes down? Yeah. And if you turn it like this, it goes up? Yeah. Well, I always see you, you never pay attention to that part. You have to have it like down like that. And sometimes they're bent like here just a little bit in order to smack the fly so it doesn't get away. If you do this, you're just make, helping him fly away because of the air pressure. Mm. So now, here, hold that. You do it right-handed, right? Yes. Because you, you have to be quite practiced in order to do left-handed fly swatting, I guarantee you. Now listen, let me just ask you this. Yeah, what? I've been chasing flies for 50 years in the campers and stuff. Yeah. Why are you just now giving me a lesson on swatting flies? You have no idea how many things I haven't given you a lesson on. <laughs> 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 Buenos fuerte, amiga. <laughs> Now, the only problem with this video is... There's no flies. I don't see a fly. As soon as you start talking about them, they fly away. That's why they call them flies. Because they fly away. That's why <laughs> I'm the one that should be demonstrating it. <laughs> Enough for today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.